80 years ago today, the attack that hurled America into World War II and changed this country forever, the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Carity on News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live at the National Museum of World War II Aviation next to the Colorado Springs Airport, the site of special memorial events today. Scott. Well, Heather, this museum is known for its impressive display of World War II era aircraft, including the two we're going to show you here right now that had significant roles at Pearl Harbor. But today, the focus was on living history from veterans of that war and on the close ties to Colorado Springs that the Pearl Harbor attack had. Three World War II veterans from Colorado Springs in their mid to late 90s toured the museum on Pearl Harbor Day. Two saw combat, one did not, but all three said that the Japanese attack motivated them to join the fight while they were just teenagers. Over Germany during the war, I flew in B-17s, I was a waste gunner. They represent part of the greatest generation that's quickly disappearing. Maybe 50, 100 in, in the greater Colorado Springs area. I mean, to, to, be, to have fought in World War II, you've got to be almost 95 years old, 90, 95 years old. The museum's Pearl Harbor Day events also reflected several noteworthy Colorado Springs connections. One of the guest speakers at the Museum Tuesday provided a surprising revelation, one that many of us likely are unaware of, that the first casualty of the attack on Pearl Harbor, based on reports from the Navy and other sources at the time, was a Colorado Springs man, Daniel Griffin. And we're told that he lived here at this home on Bijou Street. The speaker, William Thomas, said that he's done research to support that. James Downing, who died in 2018, was at Pearl Harbor and earlier was a founding member of the Navigator's Ministry based in the Springs. He started it while aboard one of the ships heavily damaged in the attack. And Donald Stratton, who died last year, was aboard the USS Arizona that sank with more than 1,100 shipmates aboard and is now the site of a memorial. Now, the plane we're showing you right now is the type of plane that Daniel Griffin of Colorado Springs was in when he was shot down at Pearl Harbor. Now, that guest speaker we told you about says that with Griffin being from Colorado Springs and being the first Pearl Harbor casualty should be a bigger deal than it currently is. And he says he's working to do more to have something in town named in honor of Daniel Griffin. We are live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. As it should be. All right, Scott, thank you.